Known for her iconic ski goggles, perfectly red lipstick, and crazy skills on the walk, Jefai is one of the most respected. That is the most insane omelet I've ever seen in my life, and she's making it burrito style. You should have seen how much, how much like shellless crab meat she added in there, and she is literally taking care of it like a baby. And she says her process of making the omelet uh, will ensure that it doesn't soak up too much oil, even though it looks like it's gonna be a, a little bit of an oil sponge oil. Well, she's taking it out now. Set it up. She finished making our first dish, which is the kajiopu, which is the insane, most insane crab omelet. And I can say one thing already. She is extremely nice, she's really friendly, and she is a master and a perfectionist at what she does. She's talking with Ying right now. They're having a great time. And then she's gonna cook the rest of our dishes very soon. But that that crab omelet is just, it's, it's borderline ridiculous. Let me just tell you a really quick bit of information about this restaurant. Uh, so the restaurant's name is Jie Fai, and Jie in Thai is the name that you call uh, a Chinese lady that you want to respect. So that's the first word. The second word is Fai, and that actually directly translates to a mole. And so it's like a, a Chinese lady that you want to respect with a mole. And uh, she, she does have a couple of her fashion is on the next level. Those ski goggles and the ski hat, she rocks it so well. Oh, and not only to mention that, but if you look closely, she's wearing lipstick, and her lipstick is just perfect. She's, she's and it's pretty hot, let me tell you. Uh, you get the, the heat of the fire, the heat of this pot of soup boiling right here, and she just remains pretty and in the zone. <laughs> The next dish she's making is the Pad Kimao Senyai, which is the drunken noodles. Oh. 
ไมเปิดสมัยพ่อแม่แล้วแล้วตอนที่โดนไปไหม้ชิ้นไฟมาถึงตอนนั้นเป็นโดนไปไหม้ถูกสิบสิบสิบปีไม่ไปThere and watched as she made all of our dishes. Actually, we just got three dishes, but they are huge dishes. And the seafood that she uses is gargantuan. And she, I can say one thing with certainty: she is an amazing lady, and she has to be one of the coolest chefs I've ever met in the world. That style, there's no doubt that this is one of the most insane omelet that you will ever come across. It's literally like burrito sized. There's only two eggs in this entire thing, so you can imagine how much crab is in here. And her method of making this omelet, she ensured us that it doesn't soak up that much oil. Okay, I can guarantee you this thing floats. It is just literally solid, solid, full of crab. Look, look at that. Oh, that's just pure crab with a little bit of egg. Can I pick it up like a burrito? I think she will be okay with it. Look at this thing. It is a burrito. It's a crab egg burrito. This is this is unbelievable. That is ridiculous. Those nuggets of crab literally melt in your mouth. The egg is merely there to hold it all to, to hold the crab together, and then it's crispy on the outside. It really is not oily on the inside. The oiliness is just around the outside. That's just what you call oozing crab onto the rice. And the sauce that you're supposed to use along with kai j i o or an omelet in Thai is the sauce prik, which is a It's like a, it's a chili sauce, but kind of a sweet, kind of like, yeah, a sweet type of chili sauce. Add some of this, okay, and that should balance off the the richness a little bit. Mm. That is, yeah, that's supreme. One of her most famous dishes is pad kimao sen yai. Which in, it literally translates to drunken noodles, and this is a famous Thai dish. Uh, she's known to have one of the most gourmet, one of the most expensive versions in all of Bangkok. And the main ingredient is the sen yai, which are the wide rice noodles. But she, she again made this so expertly. It looks like just a you could probably pick up this whole thing in one spoon as it all sticks together like a like a pancake almost. But a couple notable features in here. Um, number one are the size of these mega. Prawns and these are ocean prawns. Look, it fills that entire. Look, okay. Here's the serving spoon. This is a serving spoon. It fills up the entire serving spoon, and that is just solid tiger prawn muscle. Okay, and another notable feature. Oh, okay. I couldn't forget the nuggets of crab. She also just decided to randomly throw in here as well.
something you immediately admire about her is that she doesn't overcook any of the seafood. Oh, that broth is just mesmerizing and it will really make you sweat too. Ooh, the flavor though, that's flavor overload. But I think the dish with the most wow factor is the crab omelet, this burrito beauty. So I'm moving back over here. Just look at those nuggets and just wrapped up in that egg. Literally the egg is just a, it's just an excuse for the crab. Going for some of the picnapla, dress it. Oh yes. This is definitely the best plate of Pad Kimao I've ever had. An outstanding meal, but the sweat is just dripping right now. And just gonna pay the bill real fast. She is a legend. And our total bill came to 2,390 baht. Uh, so, it's not cheap by any standard of the imagination, but you will eat your fill of gargantuan shrimp and shellless crab here. There's no doubt about that. You know, it's all about expectations. So if you are expecting it to be street food prices and quality, uh, then J5 is simply not that. She uses premium ingredients uh, and I, yeah, although yeah, it definitely is very expensive, but you not only pay for the food itself, which is pretty mind-blowing and impressive, but you also, she is a legend. Uh, we were talking with her and that restaurant has been there for 60 years. She's now 71. Her mom started the restaurant and so she has been there since she was 11 years old, helping her mom, cooking, learning how to cook, and so she is beyond expert. She is a, a Bangkok culinary hero. And so my final conclusion is that I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, not, again, not only the food, but also talking to her and enjoying her company and her cook and just watching, having the privilege to watch her cook. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be publishing lots more food and travel videos. See you on the next video.